Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're in Lake Charles, Lake Charles, Louisiana. My first time actually being here, here at Buffy's. That's right, Buffy's Po' Boys, guys. And guess what we're having? We're having some Po' Boys. It's a very Louisiana style thing. If you're not familiar with a Po' Boy is, a Po' Boy is basically a Louisiana style sandwich. So they have so many different kinds here. I've never actually had a Po' Boy in Louisiana. I've had Po' Boys outside of Louisiana. So things only fair, I finally have a Louisiana Po' Boy. So we're gonna head on in and have some fun. This place specializes in Po' Boys specifically. Also, again, they have like potatoes and wraps, um, soups, really good things. So I'm gonna order a number of items. I know they have like a crawfish boil, po' boy, which is very unique here. They have pulled pork. Um, they have obviously like uh, shrimp ramelad. Um, like so many good things. So anyway, let's get some food. Let's have some fun, and uh, I'm excited. So let's go eat some po' boys. All right. So here with all the delicious looking po' boys, I also have a lovely smelling and looking soup. I'm actually here with Paige. Paige is the owner of this fine establishment. Paige, what do we have in front of us here? We have all the goodness. Okay, so first off, we have the crawfish boil, which is a boil in a bun. So if you've ever been to crawfish boil, you know what it is. Crawfish corn potatoes and crawfish sauce, all on a po' boy. So we also have the all-American, which is a traditional shrimp sandwich with lettuce, uh, three cheeses, jalapeno mayo, it's delicious. So then the boudin. Boudin! Yeah. Boudin, yes, where it's at. So Louisiana has the best boudin. So it's a Buddha and pepper jack cheese and jalapeno mayo in the sandwich and you'll fall asleep afterwards after you eat this, but that's the sign of a good meal. And then this is our traditional barbecue po' boy, and so this is a homemade barbecue sauce that we make in-house. Looks delicious. Crowd favorite. So we have the special. This is a three meat, three cheese with jalapeno mayo and gravy. The gravy is everything for that sandwich. And then we have the ramelade. I say that people like to swear on the ramelade. It's a tangy sauce and spread on this shrimp sandwich. Delicious. It smells really good. It's so good. It's so good. People want it by the jug, the sauce. And then we have the kicken chicken, which is a chicken sandwich with everything you could love in a sandwich. Bacon, bacon ranch spread, all the good cheeses. It's delicious. Well, I tell you, this is, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, again, I've actually never had a po' boy in Louisiana, so we're about to change that. And again, Lake Charles being the, the, the best spot for it, I should say. What do we have here? That is our famous soup. So we used to serve this soup on Thursdays. The line would be out the door, so we had to start serving it every single day because we didn't have the staff to staff the place on a Thursday. We couldn't keep up with the demand. It would sell out before we'd open because people would order it by the gallons. Really? So this is, yes, it was it's the cabbage and tasso soup. We're famous for it. So it's tasso uh, cooked down with some cabbage and some ingredients I can't really talk secret, about. Secrets, secrets, okay. It's secrets. And tasso's like sausage. It is, it's a sausage, and when you cook it down, it's what creates the flavor. Gotcha, so we got like a very signature, unique cabbage and sausage soup, or cabbage and tasso, all these po' boys. Well, Paige, thank you so much, this looks fantastic, and uh, let's get eating. Alright everyone, so let's get started. This looks so delicious. Um, geez, where to start? Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna start with the boudin. I think the boudin is a good place to start because it's a very, very, very Louisiana. Boudin's kind of like a rice sausage, and uh, I love it. This bread looks, smells delicious, so Louisiana, let's do it. Boy, oh boy. Okay. That bread is delicious. Super soft. We got like a lovely aioli on there, a jalapeno aioli. Mm. The flavors you get from that boudin. It's like porky, it's rich, it's savory. The mm. mix mm. with that mayo though. Beautiful combination. It has a lot of flavor, like a lot of spices, not like heat spice. Just a lot of delicious spices. It really like, like she said, you should, might take a nap after this. It reminds me of like a home cooked meal. Mm. I get vibes of almost like a, kind of like a turkey dinner or something. But man, that is a, I can't believe like, this is a delicious bread. The bread is fantastic. This is the All-American. I'll try this. We got, I know we got lots of different cheeses. 
all the lovely classic shrimp, kind of, kind of like the classic pull boy, all American pull boy, we call it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. The lettuce in there. Oh, we got shrimp. Damn. The mix of the sauces and the seasoning on that shrimp. It's honestly amazing. That is just like a... That is a po' boy. That is a, that is a delicious freaking sandwich. The word that just keeps coming to my mouth, which I'm trying not to say a thousand times, but just fresh. Everything in this bite just seems so fresh. Like I said, the seasonings, such a beautiful, can just a suck like that shrimp, I know. Try this crawfish boil. So this looks delicious. I love crawfish. I love kind of those Cajun seasonings, those boil seasonings. Crawfish sauce on this one. It's really cool. Like I said, you're actually getting corn and potatoes in it, which is pretty dang unique. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. It tastes like a crawfish boil. So I've definitely never had potato on a sandwich before. But paired like this, it's phenomenal. So if you're not familiar with crawfish is, crawfish kind of looks like a little lobster. Very popular here in Louisiana. And they're just, the way they cook them, the way they boil them, and the seasonings, the sauces, it's just flavors like you've never had before. Kind of like Old Bay Reminiscence. It's just like, it's too good. So how's everything? Mm. Delicious. I know. Very That's good. a good sign. Very good sign. I have a full mouth. Yes. For a reason. No, this is like, what a cool ceremony. Did you come up with this? So my sister did, Buffy, actually. And so, you know, crawfish season is like Christmas season in the South. Okay, that's where like everything revolves around crawfish. So it was it was a no-brainer, right? And uh, she developed the sauce. It's just wonderful. Can I get you anything else with that? I'm good. <laughs> good. I'm good. Thank you so much. I mean, luckily, I have however many sandwiches or po' boys in front of me still. Yeah, that was really delicious. Like I said, if you've never had a crawfish boil, you've never been in the South, a must, must, must try. You gotta try crawfish. Taste wise, I find it quite similar to a shrimp, but it's the way they cook it. It's just so well seasoned, they're boiled in the spices. It just makes the experience. And it's like, like this, I've never had it like that in a sandwich. You get a whole boil in a bite. Buffy's. Shout out Buffy. Alright, I will probably now try, because so the half, that was a very, very, very large uh, pull boy, the boil. Um, but I'll probably try the, hmm, let's try this, kicking chicken. So the kicking chicken, we got some jalapenos, bacon, ranch, chicken in here. This is very hefty. But that being said, this looks, it actually smells delicious. Smell the bacon. I love bacon. Like, any, I'm sorry, you don't like bacon? I respect you. But hell right, bacon is the way to go. So let's give this one a shot. Mmm. Ooh. So the chicken out here, it is very well flavored, very well seasoned. I almost feel like a lovely, like almost barbecue flavor from it. But that is like the first thing. So you're getting so many different flavors, but I can really pick out the lovely flavor of the chicken. It's a very, very good taste of chicken. 
getting that jalapeno aioli. I also have the actual jalapenos in here as well. Definitely coming through with the flavor of that bite. I'm getting that bacon, that ranch. But it pairs so well. Look at this out. Very impressed with that chicken. Got my sweet tea. I drink way too much this time in the South. But it tastes so good. I love sweet tea. And I love the seafood. Another thing people always, you know, again, very well known for Louisiana here, right by the water. On those beautiful warm waters, it's just the shrimp, the crawfish, the seafood. So the shrimp rambalad, you ever had a rambalad? It's like a beautiful, creamy, delicious sauce. And again, so much flavor. So I'm super excited for this one. I love a rambalad sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. woo! Got some horseradish in there. Again, those lovely, lovely, lovely flavors. A little bit of sweetness as well. But just so fresh, man. That horseradish just awakens that palate. The different textures with those veggies on there. And it's just so juicy. It is just dripping in all the best ways possible. And I see why this place is known for poor boys. This is just like, I've never had a pull boy like this. These are phenomenal. And it's a really good sized salmon too. All these are very big, very satiating, very filling. And besides this large one especially, the large one was that, uh, the seafood boil, crawfish boil. massive. You could very easily feed at least two people with that. I don't count, okay? I don't count. And just because I eat this much doesn't mean you have to, okay? I do it so you don't have to. But definitely come on by and at least try one of these. But just like take the whole week and try one a day. That's that's a good way to do it. That's that's how I would approve you eating, you know, seven sandwiches. But uh, this is, yeah, this is uh, so far been fantastic. Gotta try the special, that is that special gravy on it. The pulled pork, I love barbecue. They're making their own sauces and stuff. I don't think you can beat that, so. Definitely, I think let's try this one. Let's try the Buffy special. It smells good. That brown gravy, it just smells like, again, yeah, like I'm talking, it smells homegrown. It smells like you're home for Christmas or something, so. Give it a try. Oh yeah, Christmas, family dinner. That gravy, that roast beef. Get that nice little cured aspect of that ham. No complaints about that. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Last but not least, though, the one I haven't tried, you guys know I love barbecue. I love barbecue, I'll take it any day of the week. And a good pulled pork sandwich, a good barbecue sandwich, or in this case, specifically a pulled pork po' boy, which is not a normal thing. So definitely, again, a Buffy's, Buffy's unique, exclusive specialty. And now, I'll finally taste it. I've been waiting for this one, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, okay. So that sauce is definitely a nice, beautiful, sweet sauce, but it's such a nice tangy aspect of that. That pork is a beautifully smoked, very moist, very, very tender. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of meat on this. I think there's pickles on it too. We have a lovely pickle flavor. 
super complimentary to that kind of really rich meat. Having that acidity, that sweetness, that tang, and again, that beautiful freaking bread. Super soft. I got some nice onion in that bite as well. It's like a like, kind of like a pulled pork sandwich or you know a barbecue platter in a po' boy. Some of them are a little, a little exciting sandwiches. Let's put it that way. Definitely getting a little, a uh, few droplets of all the sauce and everything. But I think if you're not, you know, making, I'm not saying making a mess, but if you're not having fun with the food, you're probably not enjoying it. I tell you what, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. These are just fantastic. So I haven't tried the cabbage and chasso soup yet. So let's give that a shot. I mean, through all the pool boys, still have half of that lovely crawfish boil there. So let's give it a shot. Now this smells very good. Getting a little bit, it's almost like a French onion vibe. You know what? I don't think I've ever actually had a... I don't think I've ever had a soup quite like that. Hold on, I need to like... I need to come to words for this one. It's almost like, uh, like a little bit of like... Again, I'm getting like a French onion vibe, but it is just so much more than that. It is very like... It's, it's actually very complex. The cabbage, the tasso, adds a really, really good flavor. A nice, strong, just kind of meaty, almost like umami mouthfeel. It is very like, it's, it's, this is a complex dish. Crazy. There is like, I'm gonna try to think of better words to describe, but I don't think I can. This is just like, this is something you just gotta try for yourself to actually like, to understand how unique this is. It's like a, a little creamy, definitely has like some really nice spices, kind of just like a really nice punch of flavor, but it's also warming. That's another thing, it's like, getting into just, it's like warming spices. And it's not just because the temperature hot, it's like, it's warming. Dynamic, I don't know, complex. Just layers on layers on layers. Shout out to Buffy. Got a good recipe. We'll finish up this last po'boy here. This has been a fantastic experience. It's been very, very, very delicious. Just start to finish, everything has been delicious. The flavors, the combinations. Very delicious. Seriously, I am very, very honored to be able to try all of Louisiana in the po' boy form. The finest, the finest of po' boys here at Buffy's. This was delicious. Huge thanks to staff for having me on. Lovely food, guys. If you're ever in Lake Charles, passing through here, this is a must stop. They actually had another location, but unfortunately got taken by the hurricane. But I tell you, this shop here is gorgeous. It is so like artisan. It is a little like, it's cute. Look at this. They got mirrors on the wall. It's definitely a beautiful looking restaurant. It definitely is its own place. And I think Buffy's is definitely a must stop by. In regards to my favorites today, man, that is a tough one. I think, I'm probably, I think, mm, mm. the All-American was fantastic. 
absolutely loved it. Just that like seasoned shrimp, a little bit of cheese on there, the, the, the aiolis, everything combined. And the All-American was definitely a must try. The Ramelade was a must try. Everything was delicious. I really can't complain at all. The boil was so cool, so unique. Just yeah, it's all very delicious. As well as the cabbage and tasso soup. That was very, very good. Uh, very, like I said, I, I couldn't describe it. Could not describe it. So definitely something you definitely need to try for yourself in the area. Well, everyone, until next time, of course, the happy, the hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed eating and enjoyed making this video. So hopefully you enjoyed at least a little bit of as much as I did. With that, everyone, like I said, definitely feel free to stop on by Buffy's here. Come on in, tell them, well, hey, I saw some guy eat way too much food. And uh, that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Of course, until next time, happy, the hungry, happy eating. I will say, they do have banana pudding over there. You know how I feel about banana pudding. But until then, until next time, everybody, thank you so much. and. Uh, that's about it, so have a good day. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's going to end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.